is Mike from ID Parts. In this video we are going to be changing a actuator on a BRM turbocharger. First step is to loosen the bottom nut on the vane actuator uh, using a 10 millimeter wrench. Now you're not going to loosen it fully. Um, you're going to loosen it just enough to take the tension off of the actuator rod. So as you're loosening the bottom nut you're actually releasing the tension on the actuator rod. So this nut is actually not moving and this nut is moving upwards. Loosen the bottom nut until the vane lever is free to move up and down. Now we want to measure the distance from the top nut, the bottom of the top nut, to the top of the vane lever. After you get the measurement, remove the bottom nut completely. Next step is to remove the two bolts that hold the actuator to the turbo. Once the final bolt is removed, you can remove the actuator from the turbocharger. We can now start installing the new vane actuator. First step in doing this is to secure the vane actuator rod into the uh, vane lever. Once that's done, we can reattach the two bolts. Now with these two bolts secured, we can make the actuator rod tension adjustment. Move the vane lever to its utmost position. Then measure the distance between the top nut and the vane lever, as we did before. Once the top nut is the proper distance from the vane lever, you can install the bottom nut. Once the nut is tight, the installation is complete. Go ahead and take the car for a test drive and monitor turbocharger boost pressure and actuator position.